يا أهلا وسهلا يا شباب Hello and welcome guys and girls to a new video I know long time no see uh, Yes today I have a brand new video Maybe some of you already saw my website habibi-coding.com slash blog um, Here if you go on habibi.com um, and you go on blog I have a new blog it's about docker compose volumes I have written an article here, um, this is the wrong video, <laughs> here, when you watch this video and you go on the website, there should be the, the proper, the correct video linked here. And yeah, here I have a written tutorial about volumes and um, explaining it, some stuff. And yes, and also for as you know, uh, to, to record some videos about it, to, to also give you a uh, video tutorial about this stuff and here you have a, um, a frequently asked section and FAQ section with some things uh, with some <laughs> question and answers and yes so to let you know this tutorial will be in three parts I mean I will you will see three videos one video where we where I show a docker container without a volume when we restart the container there is no data when I, the second video will be about a Docker container with a volume. So when I restart the container, the data will be there. The data will not be lost. And the third video will be about how to use the stuff with uh, Docker Compose. Expl explicitly we'll use this YAML file here. So let's get started, yalla. Uh, first, make sure you have uh, Docker installed on your system. And then you just need to um, open your terminal. When you have a terminal open, just do something like docker ls. Uh, sorry, not docker ls, this is not list. Um, show the, show some if something is running with ps. Uh, or just type docker networks to see the, the Uh, sorry, Docker Network LS uh, to show which kind of networks you have already installed on your system. And yes, so I would say let's get started with the first part where we just uh, create a Docker, uh, Docker container, uh, put some data in there, some daemon data, and then we restart the container and we will see there will be no data. So let's get started with this. So let's do a clear. And yes, let's do this. Now we need docker run, we will run something, give it a name. Uh, we will call it Postgres container, so Postgres, a PG for Postgres with no volume. This is the name of the container. Then we will put an environment variable here because this Postgres container, they have already this uh, environment variables. Postgres underscore password. So every Postgres container has this variable. You just have to define it. Uh, we will say here password and minus D. So it runs in the background. Uh, so we don't have to close, uh, if we want to do something, we, it, it, we don't have to close this terminal section at this terminal here. A minus D, let's do Postgres version 13. I don't think I have this version here on my machine, so it will maybe pull the image and then start the container. So let's check here. So if we have, if I have our type or not, docker run minus minus name. The name of the container will be pg minus no minus volume. The environment variable for Postgres underscore password is simply password minus d for run in the background. And here we specify the Postgres version. Let's press the enter button. And yes, we have to allow unable to find the image. So with this pulling the image, as you can see here.
Yeah, as you can see right now, Docker, here we have the containers, you have the images here. And after this is finished here, a container should run and we should have here a Postgres 13 uh, image. Now we have on my system, I only have Postgres Alpine. So let's wait. I should be hopefully completed soonish. And then, as I said, I can uh, walk you through. Uh, we will connect to this um, container right now, and then we will create a database. Uh, yeah, database, and then we will put some dummy data in there. So, as you can see, we have a container running. When we take took a take a look at the images, we have now Postgres 13. Only before we had only Postgres Alpine. So yeah, container is running. That's great. Now what I have shown you before well, with the Docker PS, the running containers command. We have also running container uh, with our terminal uh, proofs right now. So proof. And yeah, now let's connect. Uh, we do docker exec minus interactive it. Then we specify the name, which is of course this name here. I just copy it, paste it, paste. Uh, pg minus volume. Then we say p. SQL, so we can do some stuff in here with which user, with the default user, this is Postgres. Otherwise we would have to create a user. Uh, yeah, psql is, is the way how you put some um, SQL statements inside uh, your, your uh, Postgres database via terminal. As you can see, now we have we are inside Postgres. Sorry guys, I was a bit confused. Um, just if you do, how is it called? Backslash L. Now you should, as you can see here, uh, we have listed all the available databases right now, Postgres database and template stuff. Now what we are going to do, we will create a, a database and create a table and insert some uh, data in there. So let's do this. We will just do create database. We'll give it a proper name. Mm, proper name would be user underscore test underscore db. Uh, Yes, so let's do a semicolon here. Uh, create database. Okay. Maybe I think maybe I cannot use the the the, the, the underscores minus. Okay, uh, let's do this like this. User test DB like this. Okay, create database. And now what we're going to do is um, again list the database. As you can see, we have uh, a database in here, the last one. So let me just uh, clear the screen. You do it. You do it with Control and L. Let me, uh, yeah. Let me now do Control C to connect to. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I forgot the name already. <laughs> okay. And now let's do this like that. User test DB. 
stb semicolon we are now connected uh, to the to the user test to be as user Postgres. Now we will create a table. Okay. Now create table. Let's say call it user. It has ID serial primary key. Besides that, it has a name, which is a text. So basically, as you know, every table should have a ID and one other column, this column is now a name. So let's finish this with a semicolon. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Why is that? Why is that? Create table user. Okay. Doesn't want me to. I said create table. I don't have a type in here. ID serial primary key name text. Maybe it doesn't look the. Mm. Maybe it has already. I don't know. Let's create users. Okay. I think, uh, yeah, maybe everyone, maybe this this database already, the, the Postgres database come, come already with some user tables. So this is the reason why I couldn't do it right now. Now let's insert also here, insert into users. And what we are, uh, and what we are entering are the name. So here we have the name and we will put here some two, two values in there. Uh, let's, let's take a woman name, Zaina, very, pro very popular Arabic female name. And let's take, especially in the Levant area. Uh, now let's take another name, let's take Maruf. And so let's say, okay, insert into two values, one female, one male. Okay, insert into, and now we can say select from users. We have two values in here. First one is Sena and the second one is Maruf. Um, if you want, you can also add some other things in here. Uh, another female name, let's name, I don't know. Let's name Dana. And let's take uh, Hassan. So again, select from users. And we have now four users in our table. That's lovely. So let's quit this, or let's yeah, let's quit this. We see we have the 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 the, the table as you can see with backslash and L here. In, uh, this in our user test DB, and now we can quit this is backslash and Q. Uh, yeah, uh, it's, it actually. It's basically most, I mean, it's it. Now we can also, let me just clear the screen so you don't have to look down. Uh, Docker PS, our container is still running. We can, of course, stop the container with saying Docker stop. PG, no minus volume. Let's see if the container still runs. No, it is not running. So now, as you can see, also here in the here, it does not run. Uh, uh, so what you need to do right now is um, 
turn off your machine. So basically when you go here with yeah, a sh uh, sh uh, sh shut down and you restart your, your computer again and there will be no data in here. So let's do this. I mean, I already did it. I paused the video and did it. Uh, yeah, what you can do now is when you're back in your, when you restart it on your desktop, on a Docker desktop or from the terminal, you can restart the container. I'll restart it from here. Check from the terminal, docker ps, yes, it's running. And now what we are going to do, we will connect again. So let's see, docker exec interactive terminal, uh, so pg minus no minus volume, psql and username is postgres, let's do this. Now we are in Postgres. What we can do is, you see, see my last commands, list all the databases. The database is still here. Oh no, but now let's see if the data is still there. As you can, as you might remember, we had four users in the users table. So let's do select from users. Doesn't exist. So no data in there. Also, let's be, just to be curious, if there's a user, yeah, just one user. Uh, yeah, but this is not the table we created. As you remember, we created the users table. And in users, it doesn't exist the table, so it got deleted. We lost all the data. This was the expected result. Uh, yeah, this is it for this video. In the next video, we will I will show you how to use volumes. So even if you turn off your computer, the data will not get lost. This is also how you will do it with um, virtual server, like Amazon EC2 instances, when you turn them off for whatsoever reason, or you need to restart them um, so the data doesn't get lost. So, see you in the next video.